Very recently, we got our first look at the new in-raid trader that resides at the soon-to-be-unlocked lighthouse expansion area. Almost immediately, players noticed that the official artwork for this dealer contains some very interesting details, particularly in the necklace the dealer is holding in his hands, and the shadowy figure inside the lighthouse, directly behind the dealer. This trader appears to have some kind of connection to the mysterious cult that inhabits Tarkov, which is definitely a surprise, as up until now, cultists have shown nothing but hostility towards pretty much every single person of any faction they come across. But before we speculate on what this may mean, let's dissect the trader's artwork and see what conclusions we can draw from its analysis. The first, and most obvious, is the necklace the trader is holding. The most common symbol associated so far with the cult in Tarkov is the two opposing triangles, or delta symbols, or sometimes referred to as the lightning bolt. But if we look in the various marked rooms around Tarkov, the eyeball symbol is just as common. A disembodied eyeball has been used as an esoteric symbol in religions, cults, and mysterious and shadowy organizations for several millennia. The Eye of Providence, or Eye of God, is popular in Christian religions to convey the Christian God's watchful, benevolent gaze. Whereas in Egyptian mythology, the Eye of Horus represents protection, and keeping an amulet of the eye with you in your pocket could protect the owner from harm. This necklace or amulet held by the Lightkeeper contains what one can only assume is the same mysterious eye symbol used in the various marked rooms all over Tarkov. And I've racked my brain to come to some sort of conclusion as to what this symbol means, but so far to no avail. My best guess is that it symbolizes the watchful eyes of the cultists, who witness anything and everything that goes on within Tarkov. Speaking of watchfulness, the next interesting element on the dealer artwork is the barely visible figure that's inside the lighthouse. Seeing as this dealer is in possession of cultist property, and I highly doubt that the art is trying to convey that the dealer is about to be killed by this figure, it's reasonable to assume that he may be working directly with the cult. What this trader sees in the cult, and what they see in him, is a mystery. Also, the cult and this dealer may not have as good of a relationship as we may think. While I don't think the cult is holding this dealer hostage, he may have gotten in a little over his head with the cult, and made deals with them that he may now regret. So the cult may view this dealer more as their property, and using him as an intermediary to deal with the various surviving PMC groups in the region. One point to possibly support this theory is the fact that this dealer is found in raid only, which, unlike other dealers, may mean that his base of operations is far less secure, and that PMCs may not be as welcome to stop by any time they wish, especially at night. Lastly is one aspect of this artwork that I haven't seen many people talk about, which is the apparent scarring or burn injuries on the face of the Lightkeeper. These scars seem to extend from his torso up onto his neck and face, and this isn't the first time that we've seen such scars. Gluhar, the reserve boss, also shares very similar scarring on one side of his head, which may or may not be related. Who or what caused this is unknown, but it may also be chemical burns. My best theory as to why the cult exists in the first place is that they were Terra Group Labs experiments that somehow escaped or broke out of the lab. Perhaps Gluhar, the cultists, and this dealer all endured some kind of experimentation, including chemical burns at some time, but this of course is merely speculation. I'm hoping that the addition of this new trader not only introduces some new mysterious elements to the story of Tarkov, but also that it can answer some of the lingering questions that we've all had for years. While I don't expect that every secret and mystery of Tarkov to be answered, I do think it's about time that we've had some storylines reach their conclusions, or at least offer a few answers as to the motivations and reasonings behind the Tarkov conflict. After all, if every single aspect of the Tarkov story is nothing but mystery and unanswered questions or unknown motivations, it can cheapen the overall experience as players still don't really know who or what they're fighting for, other than for simple survival. Also, I think it would add a little bit more immersion and weight to the stories that we hear and the scenes that we see while traveling the Tarkov landscape if we had a better idea of why these terrible things have happened and who's behind it. Either way, we'll have to wait and find out but it seems like we may have some answers very soon. Let me know in the comments what has stood out to you about this new dealer's artwork, and what you think about this new in-raid trader. I'll have new videos soon, but until then, I'm Jeff with EUL Gaming. Good luck out there.